What's up, sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed afternoon to you all. Welcome back to another video. Hot off the press, hot off the press. The first ODI is done and dusted. Yes, my viewers and subscribers and West Indies, they were able to come out victorious against Netherlands. You know, um, so that's the first one out of three. And we were able to win it easily, convincingly. I, I am aware that a lot of persons didn't get a chance to see the game. I myself didn't get a chance to see the game. So I'm just going to go through so you guys can hear the score and thing. But uh, one standout, main standout, Mr. Shea Hope getting another international ODI century. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. Um, his century basically helped us to win the game by seven wickets within 43 overs. So it was a rain delay. Um, it was a rain um, affected game. You know, Netherlands actually batted first. It was West Indies that won the toss. Netherlands batted first and they had 240 for seven of their uh, allotted 45 overs because of rain. Pretty, pretty good total that my viewers and subscribers. 240 for seven. You know, I I was saying in my in, in the live that, you know, we don't want them to get more than uh, 230 for 25, 230. They got 240 and we were able to chase it quite convincingly. So, 240 for 7 of their 45 overs because of rain. Uh, they had TJ, hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly, uh, getting 58 not out. He was the lead scorer for them, uh, 51. Uh, their opener, Singh, he had 47 from 45. And he was supported by Max O'Don, who had uh, 39 from 69. So those were the top performers for Netherlands as they were able to get 200 and. Uh, 40 for 7 from their allotted overs now as it relates to the bowling for West Indies uh, Azari Joseph played yeah but he wasn't the pick of the bowler we had uh, we had uh, Kyle Mayers and Aki Lusain both picking up two wickets each so Kyle Mayers had two for 50 from his nine overs Aki Lusain had two for 29 from his nine overs very economical head and wash one for 47 from nine overs we also had anderson philip he had one for uh, 66 a little bit expensive from nine overs and azari joseph one for 36 from nine overs as i said my viewers and subscribers i didn't actually watch the game you know the, the, the stream that i was hoping to see it on it wasn't there so i'm just going through and giving you guys a rundown of what is here so if you didn't get a chance to see the game and you don't know the scores you can you can hear the scores here but as it relates to our batting and our bowling and giving in-depth analysis um I'm a, I'm a i'm a bit afraid that i won't be able to help you guys where that is concerned right now i think persons in the caribbean were able to see the game on flow sports but i was unable to see it where i am at so that is basically how it went for netherlands now where the chase is concerned uh west indies they had a target of 247 so Netherlands got 240, but because of the rain and, and, and Doc Red Lewis method and all of that, we were asked to chase 247 within um, that overs. And uh, we won the game, as I said, by seven wickets uh, with 11 balls to spear. Seven wickets with 11 balls to spear. So let's get into our batting performance now. It was a vintage performance from She Hope once again, apparently. I can't tell you how good he looked or how classically he looked or whatever or if the Netherlands bowling was extremely weak because as I said, I, I didn't really get a chance to see it. So she Hope carried his bat. 119 of 130 deliveries. 119 of 130 deliveries. 12 fours and 2 sixes. Strike rate of 91. So... Another century for Shea Hope. I think that is maybe century number 10, 11, somewhere there about, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I know it's not, I know it's not 10. It's either century number 11 or 12, where international um, ODI is concerned for Shea Hope. So getting 119 from 130. Shamar Brooks also batted extremely well. He had six, apparently had 60 of 37, three fours and two sixes. Enkuma Bana, one leather. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, the experiment of having Enkuma Bana up the order trying to bat some overs didn't work. He was removed um, for one, one ball. One ball he got, my viewers and subscribers, without scoring. Nicholas Puran um, was removed for seven of 11. Brandon King 
the next batsman that chipped in well getting 58 of 51 not out five fours and two sixes you know so the other guys that did not bat casey carty kyle Myers, joseph phillips hayden wash akil hussein so you know we, we were a little bit too strong for them in this first game here but as i said my viewers and subscribers we have to be careful because that 240 for series it was actually a good total you understand so the bowlers that were pretty expensive they're gonna have to try and see if they can tone it down a little bit in the next game try and reduce that because at the end of the day you don't know when your batsman not going to you off you know it's good to see she hope getting that century good to see brandon king getting that half century um i mean they didn't open the innings together but um at least they got you know the, the, both of them got runs and shamar brooks who opened up with uh who opened up with she hope was able to get that 60 so uh it's 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 a good look as it relates to the partnership my viewers and subscribers um we were 120 before we lost the first wicket 120 for one yeah man then we 120 for two um then 133 for three and you know that is basically where it finished off so she hope and brandon king remaining not out uh shemar brooks Hold on, Shamar Brooks getting out, getting dismissed, Banner getting dismissed, and uh, da, 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 Nicholas Puran, right? So those are the three guys that were dismissed. Uh, Sheho, um, Brandon, uh, what I'm talking about? Um, Nkuma Banner got dismissed, um, Shamar Brooks and Puran, right? The other two guys remain not, not out, Sheho and Brandon King. So as I said, it's a good start. Uh, we don't need to be celebrating and jumping up all over the place because we were able to get the better of them. You know, but at the end of the day, it's a good start. It's a good momentum builder. We're looking for points and uh, that's the first set of points out of the way. The next two games, we need to try our best and make sure that we are able to secure those points so as to um, basically steady ourselves going into Pakistan. You know, I usually, when you are having a little international series, I would say, all right, try and, if it's a three-match series, I would usually say, all right, try and win the first two and then change it up a little bit and see if you can give somebody else a game. But we are hunting for points, you know, because we want to try and see if we can get straight qualification for the um, World Cup. So we are hunting for points, my viewers and subscribers. So the ideal thing is to um, get the unit together that is winning and see if you can keep them together and make sure that um, at the end of the day, Everything is everything when it comes on to the World Cup that is coming around. But yeah, that is pretty much how it went, my viewers and subscribers. West Indies beating Netherlands by seven wickets with over, I think, about 11 deliveries or so to spare. And the Duckworth Lewis um, system or method. She hope getting 100. And cool, uh, Shamar Brooks and Brandon King both getting half centuries, you know, and um, the bowlers. Akil Hussein picking up two, Kyle Mears picking up two. Uh, we also had Aiden Wash Jr. Azari and um, uh, Phillips also getting one. So, you know, the wickets were basically shared. The only thing I'm worried about is that the bowlers, they definitely need to tone it down a little bit as it relates to the amount of runs that they are giving away. You go up against, um, you go up against stronger teams, stronger opponents, you will be punished if your line and your length is not good. As I said, I, I didn't watch it, but... I was reading some comments while the game was going on and it seems as if, you know, a few of the bo our bowlers were being pretty much over the place, separate and apart from Akil Hussein. So that is definitely something that we're going to need to tighten up on to make sure that going forward, we are not missing out. So yeah, that is basically it for this one, my viewers and subscribers. I just had to take a break to quickly get this video in. Hopefully we can do a little talk show pretty soon to talk about this game. But we're going to leave it right here for now, is it? Big up yourself, my peeps. I'm out.